and storytelling bites. Kitty! Good morning and welcome so, aboard. Yeah. My and name is Zoe and I will be your storyteller aboard the aerial. For your safety, you please ask that you remain seated at all times. Keep your hands, arms, feet, and legs inside the boat. And please watch over your children so that we may end our story with a happily ever after. Well, of a time. Now, most adventurers mm -hmm. begin their journey through the pages of the book. But those who come in person will find that their journey can be quite magical or even menacing. Ooh. But have no fear, we'll be entered through the jaws of the monstro, ready to actually be us, but transporting us to a magical land called Storybook Land. We'd like to begin our journey with Once Upon a Time, and in our case, the Big Bad Wolf, whose cave is coming up to our left. He's known for going after the three little pigs who live across the way. One house made out of hay, one made out of sticks, and one made out of wolf-proof guaranteed brick. As we take a turn, so does our story into more curious matters as we come across an English village home to Alice on our left. One golden afternoon, she followed the white rabbit, accidentally fell into the rabbit hole, falling all the way down into Wonderland. Things just became more curious after that. On our right, we have London Park, the same park where Peter Pan and the Darling Children learned how to fly, thanks to some pixie dust and a wonderful dog who was off to Neverland where they never have to grow up. And up ahead we have Agrabah, the city of mystery and enchantment. This is the same marketplace where Princess Jasmine and Aladdin first met. He stole a few things from mostly her heart, and although they lived two different lifestyles, thanks to a friend like Genie and the power of their love, they're happily married living in the Sultan's palace. Here in Storybook Land, the blossom sun shines just like the arches above. You saw the same arches where Princess Jasmine and Aladdin flew sideways under and over on their magical carpet ride to a whole new world. Next, we approach the Cave of Wonders, filled with cursed treasure only to be lifted by the genie himself. Legend has it that if you free him, he shall grant you three wishes. Let's make a wish that hope becomes true. Treasure. So White Witch was to get away from the evil queen, and in doing so, she summoned upon this cozy cottage here on our right, home to the Seven Doors. As thanks for her kindness, they allowed her to stay, and they remain friends even to this day. On our left, we have Cinderella, who desperately wanted to go to town, causing her coach to turn back into a pumpkin, but she still be found on the brink. Dreams come true, and wishes inspire our stories here in Storybook Land, just like her patchwork on our left, inspired by the 1933 Silly Symphony cartoon, Lullaby Land. Each plant is real, and thanks to Tinkerbell and her friends, they will never grow up. This was quite inspiring to Walt Disney, and is his favorite chapter in our storybook. The Willows, where we have Ratful and Mr. Toad, whose stately manner is coming up to our left. But sorry folks, Mr. Toad is at home right now. He's actually in his motor car off to absolutely nowhere. <laughs> our next story takes place in Arendelle, home to Anna and Elsa. As Elsa fled to create her own ice palace atop of those icy mountains, Anna just, well, wouldn't let her go, and went right after her. Once together, they found that they can bear even the coldest of storms better together. And up ahead, we have the Alpine village where Geppetto lives. He wished upon a star in hopes that his puppet would become a real boy. Once Pinocchio saved Geppetto from the jaws of Monstro, the Blue Fairy granted his wish. And now they live happily as a family. Our next dreamer is a little mermaid named Ariel, who popped her fins for feet and landed in the shores in front of Prince Eric's castle. This is where she became part of our world. And just behind this waterfall is her first home, Atlantica, King Frank Castle. About to head into a tea party. We might have this tea party, to be sure. Okay, we're going to the teacups. Kayla's gonna share and spin me. It's gonna be weird. 
and filming on it might not be easy. So we'll see. Excited? Yeah, because I haven't done this in a long time since I was little. It's probably been years since I've done it too, so... We'll see how good it is. It goes fast. Yikes. So there's three of us in this tiny teacup. Welcome I'm certainly going to get steamed. Party. To spin your teacup, just keep turning the wheel to the right or to the left. Exit. Make to left. The faster you turn it, the faster you go. Well, hello there. Welcome to our unbirthday party. Unbirthday? For your safety, please be sure to stay seated with your hands, arms, feet. Enjoy your spin. Here we go, guys. We're spinning. <laughs> <laughs> Not sure this is so great before breakfast, but hey. No, it's hard to breakfast, you don't want to. You can... Oh, yeah. I thought you were helping. Oh my god, did he? <laughs> oh wow. Round and round and round she goes, then we start. Who knows? My arm's getting tired. <laughs> How are you feeling? Uh, not too bad, you know. Just uh, chin in the cup. <laughs> Looks like our tea party is coming to an end. Aww. Aww. Please remain seated until Eat all the cakes. Eat all the cakes, and quick. All the <laughs> we survived. Yay. Although I don't know which direction we're going in. Yeah, I'm like, oh, what <laughs> Um, yeah, so sorry about the shake up. It should be more like the cocktail cups than uh, anything else because they get shaken a lot. <laughs> I made her laugh at least, that's good. <laughs> so yeah, we are now on our way, just walking around. Yeah. It's just Disneyland in California, as we say. See where it takes us, really. Don't know where we're going next. Where are we going next, darling? Uh, Tomorrowland. Tomorrowland, tomorrow. Okay. Again, Tomorrowland. Right, see you there then. Heading on to Star Tours. The adventure continues. In the idea of Star Tours adventure. <laughs> Oh, well, I'm going to see you after this. Ooh, so we have just done Star Tours. It wasn't a bad ride actually, you know, get strapped in, move around a lot. Yeah, that was good. What do you think? Yeah, mine. <laughs> Don't really have to say about it. You're a bit like, wait, wait. But we coped. We're here. We're good. So on to the rest of our adventure. Yeah, Buzz Lightyear, but we're not going to film because we want to be shooting. Yes, I need to beat my score. So, hmm. catch you afterwards. So, we've just been on Buzz Lightyear and I won again! <laughs> I can't believe it, I won again! Yay! I must have learned some skills somehow. Yeah, great ride. I did better this time though. I actually did worse, but I still beat her, which is weird. I got 36,000. I got 43. So yeah, I, got 33. I was about 60 something odd, so yeah, interesting. Hi, so we're back on the monorail for the last time, maybe. We'll see. You never know. Um, we are heading to another part of our adventure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we, we, what did we just do? I was like, yeah. Yeah, we just walked down the park already. So yeah, we can check out some more. So, see you on the other side. Yeah, I've got something exciting to do. Uh, yeah. So, check you out later. <laughs>